Okay, so first step, I've already rinsed out the bathtub, I've swept the floor, and I'm going to use my swiffer for this wall. I've sprayed this wall down with a little mix that I use. I'll spray it again because it's been sitting for a little bit. Get my swiffer. I like to save a little money, so I use a rag that I've been using over and over. And I'm just draping it over the swiffer like this. Has holes for you to punch it in. Same here. Back on it. So it won't be in my way while I'm cleaning. And then I'm going to spray a little bit more onto the Swiffer and put a little Ajax on it. And then I start from the top left and just go straight down all the way till I get to the right side. Scrubbing it all the way down. Check to see if it needs some more juice sauce, stick it does, put a little bit in here. I like a nice clean shower. Well, I'm going to clean the tub first, then I'll rinse it all down. Got my gloves on, I'm about to scrub the tub, and that same right that I used to scrub the walls, I'm going to save it, rinse it, Turn it over, clean the floor with it. Got a little sponge here, and I have my my little knee pad. So I already sprayed it with the same mixture I, I did on the on the top, as well as the bottom. Put some Ajax at the bottom as well. Water it a little bit, and then just so you can keep the let the Ajax move so it's not so much friction. That's what I've also come to learn. Make it moist. Moist. Nobody likes the word moist except when it's time where you have things that's moist. <laughs> and sometimes I like to put this stuff there and let it just sit. And over time it is going to bleach. But it needs to make contact first. Okay. Switch hands. Okay, so now I am about to rinse it. I'm going to turn on the hot water. I'm going to start from the top, all the way on the side. And as you're doing that, you're doing that at an angle so it won't splatter everywhere. A downward angle. Okay, I'm going to put it the same thing when you rinse it. And you go in again with the cloth. Oh, this little trail of product that stays behind. And boom. Shower clean. We're going to do the sink. And then the toilet. And then the floor. In that order. In this order, cut down on cross contamination. We're going to put our items back. Okay. Rinse it off real good as we place this. Not too fast to get all the little hairs off. Slowly. And then, same spray that I use. So I'll make sure I tell you what the mixture is. It's a little this, a little that. It's just everyday products, but um, a little of this powder cleanser has bleach. I try not to get it on the chrome part because it will 
damage it, although I did put some there. I gotta hurry up and wipe it. And so, sponge around the world like a basketball hoop, right? Just keep on keeping on. Okay, just the hair noodles I'm gonna follow up with a uh, less wet cloth sponge and on the outside so I would run the water everywhere. And around again, I'm gonna get to the bottom after I clean off the rest of this top. Just move the sponge. Just keep moving the sponge all around. Not the not the uh, abrasive part because I don't want to scratch up this chrome here. All around, tuck it into the corners. Get more hair out the top. And I usually go around twice in case I miss something. The water flows there. Hair, 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 hair is slick and it doesn't really want to come off. So sometimes you have to help it. Another piece right here. It's a process. Get some over the edge sometimes. Got to clean it up. You got to make sure the floor doesn't get all soggy. Okay. And then I like to wipe around this part. All the splash back. And then before these water droplets dry on here, I get a paper towel and just dry it by hand. Because with this, just like silverware, you want to dry it while it's wet before it gets spots. These gloves getting caught on it because it's latex. While we add it, let's just do the whole thing, you know? Because that usually helps me get this in between this little crevices. Back all around. <coughs> These gloves are hard to get off with your sweaty. Clean the toilet and then we're going to clean the floor. Okay everyone, back to clean the toilet. I have sprayed my spray already. Same, make sure I've been using. Put a little cleanser in there and then I start, I've already torn my paper towels so I will have to deal with them double time. First I clean the sink, <laughs> the sink, it's round like the sink. The seat, I clean the seat. The very top and then I clean the back. Again, I have my toilet paper towel already pre-cut, so I will have to double down on them, touching them after I've already dealt with them. So now, keep on turning it over. I am going to clean the top of the seat and all the round back part. Get another one and then I clean the top right here because it's not much splash back from the toilet there I would hope not as much as it would be right down here on the other back the far back the far far back and then the bottom the bottom of the back. Okay, paper towel. 
see if I can move this without touching it with my hands. There we go. Okay, no hands. Um, getting all along this back. I already cleaned the top. All along the back here. And just clean it till there's nothing else there. Now you go around the bottom here, back of the bottom, and just slide it off. Like, don't go try to go into corners. This is just an initial wipe, right? Again, on the back bottom, because you're going to have a better angle once you get the lid open. So now you open the lid here. That's some excess. You open the lid, and now you have access to those little crevices you couldn't get to before. Like I said, the toilet needs cleaning, so that's why it's dirty. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that. It is a little unsightly, but I got on gloves and I'm trying to show you something at the same time. Leave that. Okay. I need another paper towel for the bottom. Hands free. Okay, going back around. I will grab my clothes. Sorry. And then go all around. Cleaning that little handle off. All the handles get cleaned. These little bottom grabbers. Okay, now that's done. Now, you grab your brush. I've already sprayed this down, like I said. Usually I would not have thrown the paper towel in there if I just didn't have the trash near me because the paper towel is going to get caught up into this, so I'm not gonna even try it. Just know that. <laughs> that is something that happens. But it's fairly clean, so I can flush it and then redo the bottom. So I won't get all of this paper towel part of it. It's, a, it's very un unpleasant to unravel. So I'm gonna take off my glove and flush the toilet, well, close the toilet, <laughs> and then flush the toilet. Pick up these little dirty paper towels from the toilet. This is how you take the glove off without touching it all. let those uh, issues settle down then we're going to clean the floor all right I said I was going to show you how to clean the floor this is the same cloth that I used to clean the shower with the shower walls the shower walls with okay do it like normal so I'm gonna flip it over push them in all the way through. I like to leave a little overhang when I do the mopping so I can flip it over as I move it. You'll see. And then I can um, do the bottom. Use use all of the rag, basically. So I'm going to show you how to clean the floor now. Just a moment. Okay. The same mixture I've been using. I spray the floor. Just a little water couple of other regular household ingredients, little pine saws in there just for one clue. But it smells really good. So this is my Swiffer with the rag wrapped around. And because the rag is around, I get to get into this extra little spaces. Flip it all around. And I try to move away from the toilet first, like try to get the furthest point from the toilet because you got a lot of splash back down there. 
I'm going to be spraying underneath this camera and tripod, so excuse me, you can't see it. Just a little bit off to the side, maybe I'll turn you around. Alright, hopefully you can see this. Can you see this? Can you see this? Yes, you can. Okay. Into the corners. Flip that extra right around. And that part is done. I need to come, come in here and get the, the corners a little bit better on another day. But today is just general cleaning. I'm going to do a deep scrub in probably about um, sometime. Don't know. Okay. So now this is the back of the bathroom by the door. The back of where I was actually by the door. And I'm going to do this part first. I'm going to open the door and then I won't be able to get behind there as I clean the other parts of it. Open door, open door. Now I'll turn it around a little bit more. This is closer to the side, excuse me, uh, by the toilet. So I mop my way out of the bathroom. Okay. Keep it moist. The word I hate the most. Moist. Just get along these sides right here. Okay. Excuse me. And then down and around the back. And that's it. I'm gonna get another cloth and mop out this toe front part where the camera is. But normally I would do the part where the camera is first, which is just below here. And then I will go to the corners. But this is the bathroom, nice and clean. I try to put my shower curtain up like this so it's not in the way while I'm cleaning and clean bathroom thanks for watching cooking at sunset together bye